Hey friends, welcome to our video where I am showing you Calista's September hairstyles to try this month. But of course, before we jump further into this video, if you are new here, welcome. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Callista here is freshly washed and I'm going in with the Camille Rose Curl Milk and I'm applying this all over her head and this is going to uh, soften her curls and her hair to allow me to begin detangling and as you can see she is a little bit tangled than usual because I did neglect her hair for like a week but since school is back in motion we're trying to get back into our routine where I'm styling the girls at least twice a week. Back to school definitely has been busy and a hectic time right now but we are just trying to get back into the groove of things so right now i'm starting off by parting her hair and i'm doing like a half moon kind of part so it's not completely straight it does kind of curve a little bit right in the front of her hair and it's kind of creating like a little bit of a bang moment but we are going to take that section and divide it in half now of course i love clean parts over here and for my clean parts i go in with the let's jam hair gel i apply it directly to the scalp and then just retrace my part so that every hair is in its place so it's gonna be nice and clean may not be straight but it's gonna be clean Like I mentioned before, I am going to divide that section in half and each one of those sections are going to be rubber bands off. And I went in with the color red because her school colors are red. And I'm going to plait each one of these ponytails. After I finish plaiting, it's time to move to the next section. So I decided to divide her hair doing a part from ear to ear across the back. And again, it's kind of has that nice curved half moon shape. I went ahead and ponytailed the back up so it was out of my way and I used the color yellow and these are all elastic rubber bands. Now the trick of the trade for using elastic rubber bands because they do pop very easily. I usually double up on how many rubber bands I use so instead of using just one I use two especially if this section is going to be a little bit thicker and bigger than the other ones I find that elastic rubber bands work better on little small sections rather than on bigger sections so like how that back ponytail is a little bit bigger than the other sections I use probably three rubber bands to make sure they wouldn't pop now for the section I'm currently working on I use two because it's a medium sized section and I did three small little ponytails in the middle of her head and we're going to plait all the of these ponytails up the middle section will be wrapped around into a cute little bantu knots Callista love bantu knot buns she finds them super cute and i love that so i love to incorporate them into her hairstyles i added a yellow bow to the back and some red cute little hair bows to the front to kind of accent it and we're moving on to style number two so this style is kind of one of my lazy hairstyles. While I want to do something that is cute and Calista's hair is kind of out of her way and out of her face, but I also don't feel like doing the whole head, right? You follow me. So as you can see, I have created a cute little bubble braid on one side. We're going to copycat that on the other side. So we're going to create two small bubble braids. Now, I didn't want to do nothing extremely extravagant because again, this is a lazy. So I only created two small parts at the base of her head. If you're even lazier than me, which is perfectly okay because all moms are busy, you can section this into one big ponytail and just create little small rubber band bubbles going down the shaft of the hair. But for me, I felt like two was, you know, that was my stopping point for me where I was just okay this is all the time I have so of course I went in with some gel to smooth everything down and lay down them edges and I'm going in with a fine tooth comb to make it sure everything is uh, smooth and going to fit into her rubber band I'm using pink blues and purples because you can never go wrong with those colors when it comes to cute girl hairstyles and that's it just grab you a handful of elastic rubber bands and just ponytail off sections of the hair as you're going down the ha sh shaft of the hair another frequently asked question on our instagram page is people wondering where we purchase our elastic and or rubber bands and all of our hair accessories come off of amazon i don't have a lot of time to stop at the hair store and i also find that when i do go into a hair store i end up spending a whole lot more money than just picking up some rubber bands so uh, shopping on amazon just gives me the perfect amount of time to grab what i need and it's at the house in a day or two and i usually keep like 
thousands and thousands of packs of rubber bands because I do so many rubber band hairstyles on the girls. And sometimes I do find that the brand that I previously used may go out of business or they're just not selling the certain colors. So I always kind of change it up, but I promise you I tag all of that on our Amazon storefront. It is under our idea list where you can find all of the hair tools and accessories. When you click on that, you'll see all the products, hair accessories that I use on myself as well as the girls. Our Amazon store is linked on our bio website website and it is also tagged down below in our description box. Once I finish off her ponytails, I'm going to move on to laying down those edges on the side because again, I do want the style to kind of be pulled back and away from her face. She is in school and I don't want her hair to become a big distraction. So I just use some gel and to smooth it out with a brush and then it's time to style this back. So of course, Calista's curls are so effortless effortlessly gorgeous and pretty they are such as beautiful soft wave and i love that and her hair isn't as thick as her older sisters so when it comes to allowing her curls to be out and free i'm not as worried about matting and tangling it like i am with her older sisters so i went in with some uh, pattern leave-in conditioner i have been using the pattern hair care products for several months now and oh my gosh i am in love with almost everything on that product line there's no bad products for me so i'm going in with a bore bristle brush to kind of smooth and clump these curls together it's going to smooth in that product clump up her curl so she has this nice juicy spiral once they dry and that is it for this style one of my quick and lazy throughout the week kind of hairstyles where i'm just a little too busy to style the entire head but that cute little smile makes anything adorable now moving on to the last style so we're going in with the auntie jackie's baby curls and this is a thick cream but not too thick very much lightweight for your babies and toddlers and small children does absolutely nothing for my hair or my oldest daughter's hair <laughs> i'm applying this product because again it's going to soften her hair so i can detangle it and it's also going to of course moisturize and add some shine to her beautiful curls now for this style, I was inspired by one of our Instagram friends. She had posted this style on her page and I just knew I was gonna try it on Kalissa. So we're gonna start off by doing a zigzag part going down the middle of the head. And then I'm going to create a part going from ear to ear across the top of the crown because we're styling the front half of her hair rather than the back half. When it comes to zigzag parts, I do have to retrace it at least three or four times before I I get it down pat but I'm also a little bit of a perfectionist and I want to make sure not one is not looking a little lopsided or one zig is zagging a little bit more than the other one so this is just me kind of trying to perfect it but it just takes time but this it's a super easy way to change up a look rather than doing just straight parts all the time now this next part might be a little tricky so at the peak of your zigzags you want to pretty much continue that line all the way across. So as you can see, I started at the peak of one side of the zigzag and just continued that part all the way down to where my other half of the part meets. And this is going to create a section where we're going to rubber band off and create a cute little rubber band style. After I'm done playing connect the dots by creating this rubber band style for the next section, I decided to braid it down into a corn roll. That's only because I find it a lot more easier as well as less time consuming to do a braid than the rubber band style. But if you are not braid savvy like myself, that is okay. Just continue doing your rubber band style throughout the entire sections. So for me, I decided to just rubber band and braid and then rubber band the next section. And uh, that kind of worked for me where it also kind of changed it up a little bit, but still pulled inspiration from our Instagram friend. So that finished one half of her head and I pulled all of those sections back into one ponytail, but we are going to do the other half and pull it into its own separate ponytail. So she'll have two ponytails at the end of the side. Of course, I accessorized by adding some bows to those two ponytails and that's it for this look. 
and it was super cute. I really loved it. The rubber bands didn't last as long because again, they are elastic. I think by day two, more than half of them had popped and they were gone. So I ended up just braiding down the rubber band sections into cornrows and she wore it out for the remainder of the school week. Okay, we gotta get innovative around here sometimes. But thank you guys for joining us on another video. We greatly appreciate having you guys here. We will catch y'all on a, another one. Hope you all had a wonderful first week of school. Be blessed and be safe.